I'm sure. So how are things in Lincoln, Nebraska? You know, they're good. Uh, it's cold. Uh, it's 43 degrees out. So it's it's officially started yep. that time of year. Yep. Just delightful. It's 85 down here. Yeah. Yeah. And it's a cold <laughs> day in Arizona. <laughs> That's it's a cold day in it's a cold day in Phoenix. This is the daily video update for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. I'm the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. I'm speaking with Reverend Fred Wooden, who's preaching this Sunday at the Unitarian Church here in Lincoln, Nebraska. Um, so, um, Fred, where where are you? Where are you coming to us from at the moment? Well. Uh, in these virtual times that we now live in, where time and place is fungible, uh, I am currently serving as the interim minister in Chandler, Arizona, where as winter approaches, I'm only too glad to be. Uh, <laughs> I am now in my late 60s, and I've discovered that three quarters of being cold is old. And so it is great to be in a place where I don't have to think about my Raynaud's syndrome on a day-to-day -day basis. So I'm going to enjoy that. Uh, but I retired uh, from a settled ministry back in April when I finished 15 years at uh, Fountain Street Church in Grand Rapids, a non-UU liberal church that has selected UU clergy uh, well for the last uh, 80 years. Uh, my successor is the remarkable and very exciting Mariella Perez Simons. I'm trying to remember her name precisely. And she is uh, trying to get established in this virtual time that we're living as uh, you and I are trying to maintain these virtual times. So, uh, so that's where I was before and where I am now. And for the sake of your wonderful community, and we were chatting before this interview, I date back to the 1970s when I was at Meadville and uh, knew Charles Stevens when he was the incumbent there in Lincoln and he was the wise old man who'd come and tell us things about ministry and had very much to appreciate his presence and uh, his length and tenure there was notable even to us back then. Um, and you and I, my congregation knows a lot about my my Baltimore connection, but, but you are also... Yep. Uh, uh, a minister Son of Baltimore. the Baltimore Church. Yeah. Yep. I was, I was a boy in that church long, long ago. And uh, I was I've been pleased to go back from time to time. Uh, so I'm glad that we have that in common. And you have Michigan kids too, I understand. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. That's so it's, it really is. <laughs> yeah. And so it really is one large community. And the pandemic is emphasizing that. 